These dogs were especially trained with special equipment for their space travel. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. For many of us, it's a childhood dream. And for the lucky few, it becomes a reality. Sitting in a capsule that reaches almost 18,000 miles per hour in eight and a half minutes is no small feat. But it has been a long time coming, and much research was conducted to make this happen. From insects, animals, and finally humans, we conquered space travel to continue to work on this as a valuable form of transport. Of course, some animals have become immortalized in our history. For example, most of us know of Laika the dog. More about her later. This is Space Journey 101, and today we will look at the first life forms to enter space. Scientists sent many types of insects and animals before humans would be sent toward the heavens. Strangely, the first living animals sent to space on purpose were fruit flies. On February 20th, 1947, they were on board a V2 rocket. We covered the V2 in our previous video, so go and watch it after this video if you haven't already. They were launched from White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. The rocket soared 67 miles into the air before floating back to Earth. Once the flies were retrieved, the scientists noted that the radiation had not altered the flies' genetics. It could be possible to send humans and not have zombies walking the Earth when they return. But before humans were sent off to the stars, America and Russia would send multiple animals to space first. They ranged from monkeys, mice, dogs, and even jellyfish. Unfortunately, these animals were on suborbital flights, which meant the spacecraft didn't make an orbit of Earth. The first primate and mammal to fly in space was Albert II, who went up in a V-2 rocket packed with research equipment on June the 14th, 1949. But Albert II died on impact due to a parachute deploying failure. Space monkey, ready to sacrifice himself for greater good. But Albert II isn't the first animal you think of. When people hear space travel, most people think of Laika the dog. The stray pup was found in Moscow and was chosen because scientists thought a homeless animal would deal with the horrid conditions of space travel. For all those who may have hoped that Laika would return, her trip to space was always certain to be a one-way ticket. Laika traveled in Sputnik 2 and her spacecraft had many innovations to keep her alive. For example, there was an oxygen generator and a fan that would function based on the temperature and the capsule had enough food to keep the dog alive for seven days. Laika and Sputnik 2 disintegrated upon re-entry into Earth's orbit on April the 14th, 1958. More animals would suffer the same fate as Laika until 1960 when Sputnik 5 carried the dogs Strelka and Belka. They survived the trip and became the first living beings to do so. Then, in 1961, the Americans, not far behind the Russians, sent a chimpanzee named Ham. Ham let researchers see the tasks that could be completed in space, and this knowledge was important for launching the first American in space, Alan Shepard, on May the 5th, 1961. But almost a month before the Americans sent a human into space, Yuri Gagarin traveled into outer space on April the 12th, 1961, and spent one hour and 48 minutes in space, making him the first person in space. At about 23,000 feet, Gagarin ejected from the capsule as planned and landed with a parachute. 
The pace at which we first sent empty rockets into space to carry humans was a little over two decades. Nowadays, we continue to send people into space, and it's all thanks to those animals. In the next episode, we will talk about the first man on the moon. Stay tuned.